All right, guys, welcome back uh, to the second part of the three-part series. We're going to do the thank you page today, and then uh, probably in a couple days I'll have the autoresponder, and we'll tie everything together so you know how everything works between the three things. All right, and we have to do a table. You should know how to do this from the squeeze page. that 900 and 600 it's going to be centered we're going to put a color in there uh, top center that's it apply okay you should remember this from the last the squeeze page we did custom I'm going to go ahead and put the picture in there there we go not too hard got everything wrote out so I can pretty much copy and paste okay nice and big I guess do anything you want here I'm just kind of giving you guidelines to get you started I'm going to show you how to do a few banners here in case you want to put banners on your thank you page it's always a good thing to do there's your cursor There's your first banner. Okay, sometimes it'll let you put the cursor here and sometimes it won't. We have to do this the manual way. So, you get to learn a little HTML. Alright, this is the ending. I mean, I'm sorry, the beginning. This is the ending. See how it's open? Just a regular A. And here it has a slash that means ending. That means break, which is going to give us a sp oops, space. So there's a little bit of room in between. And let's put this in. Okay, and normally what you put on your thank you page is going to be basically this, you know, if you're selling a traffic course, you're going to put a, a, a couple traffic things here. If you're selling uh, list building, you'll have a couple different list building things. I'm just kind of showing you this just to give you ideas of banners, uh, your PDFs, give you spacing. So it's it's not you know this isn't something I would do because this course is you know how to make money these kind of go together how to make money in list building so let's put another this is another traffic thing I'm sure you all saw see it won't let me do it again so we have to make our breaks. Pretty easy stuff. And we're going to do 
one more thing. Okay, those two breaks I gave myself must have gave me enough right here. And this is another thing. See how I made that? You know, there's the picture, and then I scroll down, there's the picture again. Alright, we're going to put that word in there. I'm going to show you how to link it with the link up here. We're going to bold it, put it a couple bigger. It has to be highlighted to do all that. Alright, I need the link. Okay, that linked it up. Alright. Now on the squeeze page, I think I forgot to show you this, and I would like to do that here. See how this is untitled? Well, when you want to save it, you don't want to save it as untitled. So, you go all the way to the top. See it says title, title close. Right in the middle there, where I got my cursor, put your title. Thank you, Pedro. And I am going to put a one because I think I got thank you, Page already. And that's just going to put that there. Plus, it puts a title to this. It's not hard to do at all. Okay. Let's go ahead and save this because this is something else I didn't tell you. I think I already did this. Holy moly, that was loud. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can see if all this works. They have a browser here built in. Takes a couple seconds to pop it up. Alright, there it is. There's your link. That should bring up a PDF for us. And there's your PDF. Alright. Let's see. We have to go back. There's the link for that. You always want to check this stuff. Because sometimes you, you think it's going to work and it don't. See, like that. That should have worked. There it goes. I must not have pressed on it hard enough. There it goes. Let's see if we can get out of this real quick. If you look down in the corner here, you can see basically if it's going to work or not. There's that. And there you go. There's your thank you page. It's all done. Showed you how to do a couple of different things. If you need to just put words in here. And there's some banners. But this all depends on what you're giving away. Not that hard at all. Let's close out of this. Well, guys, I think that's it. That's the basic design of a thank you page. I mean, you can make it fancier. You can color this. You can put a solid back room, background here. Just like before, you know, I showed you how to do that. So the next video is going to be on AWeber. Um, autoresponder and we're going to tie all this stuff together and see how that works. I appreciate you coming. Thanks.